Hey there folks, it's Eric from Support Adventure here on the streets of Minsk, Belarus. And well, basically this is a major destination for IT software development, outsourcing. And in meeting several people here, it has come to, to my mind what the, how different they are than support people and how and why I've cho chosen to do support instead of development outsourcing with Support Adventure, my company. So basically everybody here is super smart. I meet all these people who are in their 20s and 30s, speak really great English, and they're in the development sector, and they're really well paid for here. And I tell them that I run a support business. And they're kind of a little bit condescending about support as if they don't really believe that it's that hard of a job or it's that technical or it's that rewarding or anything like that and that they think that this, since they're developers designing software it's much more somehow prestigious than us being the people who are supporting the users who are using the software. So the analogy that I came up with is like basically software engineers are like structural engineers building buildings and you know making sure they're gonna stand up they're everything from the structural engineers to the architects to the interior designers and we support engineers and IT technicians and systems people we're basically the people who are building the buildings that putting in place putting up the buildings that they design and we're the people who, when something goes wrong with the buildings, we have to help. So it's like being the fire department or the police department. We have to manage the security of the software that they do, you know, create permissions and security groups and manage all of that and relate with the client to make sure that the security that we're providing is up to spec with what they need for their business. But I like the firefighter analogy because it's often things are broken and people need a very quick response. And you might not have all the information that you need in MSPs, for example. The amount of technology that we support is incredibly diverse and you don't always have the best documentation. So if people think that support is as easy as just getting on the phone with someone and reading out of a knowledge base, I really wish it was. I've been actually looking for contracts where it is that able, easy for a long time and so far it's, it's mostly we've found our niche in the MSP space because that's where you really need a lot of quick thinking and good people skills and good problem solving skills to actually be able to deliver a result that makes the clients go wow. So in the MSP space delivering support is a constant, it's a constant adventure. That's why I call my business support adventure for one reason. Also because my business model allows people to live in inexpensive places like this. But at the core of it, support is a job where you get a lot more social interaction than developers. You actually get to feel like, like the firefighter rescuing a kitten out of a, out of a building. There's also some danger, you know, that you might, like a business is about to lose millions of dollars or something like that and you run and you have to save or you have to make a new system work for them in a way that fits their business needs and adapt the existing software solutions that development teams have made and implement them and explain and train the people in such a way that it works. So yeah, Minsk, Belarus everybody. I'd say this would be a pretty good place to do software outsourcing and it's also a very nice city to visit. It's, as you can see behind me, it's a little cleaner than a lot of the places, than what you would think Eastern Europe or Belarus or a place that speaks Russian would be like. It's a very orderly place and I've enjoyed my time here for the last few days. And yeah, Eastern Europe is really a place that's coming into its own, that's sort of making its strengths known in the technology world and has been for a couple decades now. Basically, this is a really good place to outsource work to. And that's why my business start, uh, support adventure started in Serbia, actually, because not only is it a good, the people are very technical minded, but they're also very social. So yeah, if you want to talk to me about your support needs or um, 
Maybe I can even introduce you to some developers here, I don't know, or other places like Belgrade. Yeah, just um, send us an email. All right, thanks a lot. This is Eric from Support Adventure in Minsk, Belarus. Bye now.